Hello and welcome to Clownfish TV. It is me, Geeky Sparkles, and I am by myself again today, probably for all these videos, but hopefully Neon will be back with us tomorrow. He is off somewhere else. And since everybody's probably busy today anyway with Super Bowl, I don't think it's gonna matter too much. So we're gonna talk up to this video about Moana 2 and a couple things going on with that. There are a lot of people that are like, yay, Disney's finally doing what people want in the regards to, you know, making more and more of the same franchises over and over again, which I don't necessarily agree with, but I know why they're doing it. We're gonna talk about that. And the other part is they're saying that now that Disney's big announcement is Moana 2 as an animated movie, was a show, gonna be made to movie, it's exposing big problems with live action remake strategy. The biggest problem with a live action remake strategy is that it's the same movie all over again, it sucks and nobody cares. And people are tired of it. Which I kind of touch upon that in this article. So before we get into it any further, please like and subscribe. If you do, I will give you a woohoo, woohoo. And we're gonna talk about this. So Screen Rant has this article talking about Moana 2 and they're saying their announcement exposes two big problems with Disney's live action remake strategy. Personally, there's a lot more problems than two, but this one focuses on two. And they said the announcement of Moana 2 came as a shock to many while simultaneously raising two major problems about the live action remakes. The big problem with the live action remakes is that they should just stop making them because they are the same movie all over again. Nobody wants them. They usually are crappier. It, it, it's not capturing what made the animated films good. The early live action ones, they did try to make the stories different. And I think in that regard, it worked because you had Maleficent, like the Alice movies and stuff like that. And I think that they were different enough from the, the original source material that it worked. And then the other problem, you had people that were like wanting the, the movie as a live action as the animation. And they started, you know, going into that realm, doubling, tripling down on that. And then the result was that it was lifeless compared to the original. And people are just getting really tired of it. So... They're talking about at the investor call in February that Moana was in, two was announced and some of the biggest issues surrounding the live action remakes of Disney classics. Um, the Moana 2 2024 story was an event of increasing rarity in modern Hollywood as Disney somehow managed to keep the film's production a complete secret. It wasn't like a, it was, but it wasn't a film. That, that's your first mistake. It was a TV show. It was a TV show that they were probably shipping out to Canada along with other stuff, not letting other people know about it because they didn't want, they didn't want to tip their hand and they wanted, you know, cheaper labor without unions. But it wasn't a movie. It was a show. And then because Bob Iger needed some kind of announcement to razzle dazzle shareholders in an attempt to keep him and his board members in place, he pulled this one out of his ass. And it's just basically the show being condensed into a movie version. They don't even have the voice actors lined up that from the original. They're going and scrambling now. But they had other actors set up for the animation version because it was a TV show. So they said that... Um, Whispers of a Moana sequel were almost non-existent until the bombshell was revealed that Bob Iger um, had it was one of the major upcoming movies. No, not a sequel. There was a live action one, which we're going to talk about. There have been rumors they were going to do something else with Moana. It's, but it, mostly it was the live action. That's what we keep seeing. And no one even dares get excited anymore because if, if it's not a live action remake, it's always something like, you know, Frozen 3 or what we're getting or toy, another Toy Story or Cars. We're getting a Toy Story. That's the other problem. They don't mention it, but I'm going to mention it. Other people think it's a win. I don't think it's a win. And I'll tell you why. And there's how, how many sequels do we have to have? Now you're just doubling down the other way. So instead of going to live action reimaginings, you're going to double, triple down on stupid sequels to popular franchises. The problem with that is eventually you run out of give a shit on those too. People are going to bite the fifth or sixth one. They're going to be like, I don't care anymore. You know, I'm sorry. They're just not going to care anymore. What you need to do is you need to make new good films, not wish, not strange world. You need to make actual good movies that people really, really like. So you make the new, you know, frozen, the, the next toy story. You know, that's what Disney used to do. That's what Pixar used to do. Every year there'd be a new film that was even, you know, more amazing than the last. You know, Coco, Encanto, all this stuff. And they're going to probably double down on those too. But instead of giving us new things, all I'm hearing out of Bob Iger is if it's not cheap ass live action remakes, it's going to be sequels to everything we've already done because creativity is dead and Disney isn't the leader in creativity. They're just, you know, repurposing everything they have to try to save their asses. 
And the live action remakes are wearing thin on people. So they're talking about the overwhelmingly positive reaction to the first Moana movie. Yes, the first Moana movie was very good. The surprise was certainly a welcome one. That said, the shock of the announcement likely stemmed from the attention being given to live action remake of Moana that was revealed last year. Everyone was kind of like, why are we live actioning Moana from like just a few years ago? It, they thought it was stupid. Most people weren't on board with it. They think it's dumb. Um, it's not dead. Because uh, Dwayne Johnson says they finally found who they're going to bring in as the new Moana. They're not saying who it is. Um, one of the exciting things that was actually, it was actually finding our Moana and how exciting that has been. The global search to find our Moana, which between you and I, we found her. I'm not going to tell you yet. It's very exciting. And I think part of it is because they're trying, like, he's like, oh, shit. I, I don't want to, to lose my momentum here in case they decide to not do the live action Moana. I think that's kind of why Dwayne Johnson's out there, like, spill the tea a little bit. Lin-Manuel Miranda's coming back. Oh, can't wait. Sounds like everything else. We're doing the music. Tommy Kale is our director who directed Hamilton. God. And you put everybody together and you want to put the best team together when you really go for it. So we're getting Hamilton, the Moana edition. That's basically what I'm hearing. Because now they're trying so hard to make Lin-Manuel Miranda's music. Either he's doing it or someone's doing it to sound like him. And all their movies, you're overdoing it. You find one thing that works and then you rest on your laurels and you double, triple down on that one thing that works. And then after like, you know, it works for a while. But after like the fourth or fifth time, then it starts to become a joke. And that's where I think you're heading in this with this direction. But they're still moving forward with the Moana, the second Moana, or the live action Moana film. But they're still moving forward with the, the Moana live action, according to Dwayne Johnson. All right. So they're talking about uh, the divisiveness of Disney's live action remakes. Yes, people hate them. They're, they're tiring and they're, they're old and where some are successful, the more you do, the less successful they get because people are over it. Above anything else, Moana 2's announcement proves that the creators of Disney had a story worth telling. No, they had an animated series that they were trying to bank on because Moana was popular. And they're throwing it together as a movie because they're trying desperately to keep their places on the board. Um, the worth of any script, ideas, script, and character arcs and stories became immediately justified when Moana 2 was placed into production. Moana 2 was a cartoon show. Just like they do cartoon shows for a lot of things. They had Tangled the series and all that, you know, they've all, they've done this a lot. It's, Really, it's just basically what's popular right now can we milk? That's basically all it is. Um, and when they looked at the numbers, they saw Moana was streamed a lot. So they decided to, to, to make it like a movie so that they could you know, ride on that to keep their seats. Uh, I don't know how good it's going to be, given that it wasn't designed as a movie. This naturally is a good thing. Not really. Though it proves the biggest inherent issues with Disney's live action, re action remakes. The fir first issue is that the recent live action adaptation of Disney's animated films are not being made because of worthy, compelling stories being told. As is the case with Moana 2. Again, screen rant. They're not making Moana 2 because it had worthy and compelling story and needed to be told. They're making Moana 2 because they were doing a cartoon show for Disney Plus to bring up their Disney Plus numbers and they decided to turn it into a movie because they needed something to razzle-dazzle the board. It isn't because it had a big story that they had to make it as an animated movie. You keep misrepresenting what it is. It is going to be an animated movie, but it's coming from an animated show that they had, they're just cobbling together to turn it into a film. That does not indicate it has a worthy, compelling story. It might, it might be really good. I'm not saying it's not going to be. What I'm saying is you're completely you're just stepping over where it came from. Yeah, that Disney live action, the Disney live action reboot, reboots are made because they're trying to be a cash grab. But so is this. Make no mistake. This is a cash grab. It doesn't mean it won't be, it'll be a bad one. It could be very good, but it is what it is. It's no different than the live action remakes. And the fact that this was not planned to be a film. They're trying to repurpose it into a film as a, a cash grab and a Hail Mary pass to keep their asses on the board. That's what this is about, okay? Somebody really likes Moana. The production of the Moana sequel proves that the compelling stories in question are being used for sequels. <sighs> Highlighting that the live action remake of the first film is said to be yet another one-for-one -one copy of it. 
Yeah, probably. That'll give you. It's most likely a copy of it because the, the second film's moving something else, which means the first, the live action one's probably going to be the first one. Thus far, only the one of the only Disney live action remakes that had a new idea was Mulan. Now, Mulan was had changed some things, but it was still pretty much. It was they added some characters and stuff, but it was it was similar to the animated, but they did change it differently. The you're forgetting all the Alice movies you're forgetting the maleficent ones they definitely changed the story significantly and made up something new that was based off of the original animation there's a big difference i wouldn't say that this that mulan and 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 was the only one that did that because that's not really true they did make changes to mulan 100 percent, but they did those to appease china because they had to make it fly there and they made a lot of changes to the movie and then they didn't watch it in china either Do these people even, like, know what's going on? Um, the motivation for making live-action adaptations in and of itself is an issue with the model. All while highlighting another one. Remaking animated movies with no originality, no innovation, and no reason for existing beyond replicating the original film inherently devalues animation as a medium. Yes, I agree with that. Same can be said for making endless sequels to popular films because you know they'll make money. I would argue that's the exact same thing. But the live action remakes are definitely worse. I would, I would agree with you that they're worse. Um, the Moana franchise could be a victim of its own success. Too much Moana could cause audience to become tired of the franchise. That's why just, yeah, any of this stuff. Too many Frozen, too many Toy Stories. Too many, too many Toy Stories lead to light year, okay? This is what happens. This is, this is the, that's the end result of too many. And now they're trying to make another one to undo the bad taste of the mouth of light year. It's just there's too much. They need to make new good things. Good being the key word. And you can do some sequels to some franchises, obviously. But Toy Story 5, which is actually kind of a Toy Story 6 because of Lightyear, it, it's getting old. Like, you get to a point where you, you got to stop squeezing Woody. You know, don't squeeze Woody anymore. He got nothing left in him. All right? He's, 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 he's limp. He's done. He's like bullseye. You know, he's, he's just laying there. Just leave him alone. You can only go so far. I don't know if you want to go farther with Moana because you want to see how far she'll go. But, you know, give her a break because you don't want to oversaturate the audience. But that's exactly what you're doing with all these live action remakes. It's all, that's what you're doing with these sequel upon sequel upon sequel. And all I'm hearing out of Iger is, hot damn, we're going to go back to what we know will make money. And we're going to try to squeeze that for all it's worth. And we're not hearing about what original things you're bringing. Because the takeaway isn't, they put a couple original movies out that don't do well. And the takeaway isn't, you know, maybe they didn't do well because they weren't very good movies. The takeaway is they want more of the same stuff we've already been giving them. And yes, yeah, some people will gobble the shit out of that. They're going to eat, like, Frozen 3, hot damn. I think you can get away with it to about 3 or 4. And then you're starting to be, you know, it's, it's old, it's long in the tooth, just let it die. But that's my opinion. I think this person really, Moana 2 shows Disney's live action Moana remake is pointless. It is pointless. They're all pointless. They already did it as an animated movie. They're never better than the animated movie. Let it go. Stop making them. Nobody wants them. Everybody's begging from the stop with this shit. And they have a whole bunch in the pipeline and they need to just stop. But I think what we're going to get instead is they're going to stop with a live action and now we're going to get, you know, sequel upon sequel upon sequel, which I would argue is just as bad. You, you, you're going to kill it another way. So anyway, there it is. We're going to get more of it, like it or not, but it was not meant to be a film. They're repurposing a, a series as a film, which doesn't make it bad, but it's not like they had this glorious plan for, a, you know, more story and all. They were just... It, it was just to bring subscribers in because Moana got a lot of views and now they're using it to keep their butts in the seats. So what do you think? Comment, let us know. And we'll talk to you later. Bye.